Week 3 of the development of Cyberdam. Now, if you're thinking, uh, Cyberdam, or uh, week 3 already, finally, it's time to start developing the project in Unity. The level design, the environments, everything. Yeah! Yep, I'll wait. You lock up again? Unity. Make it all big. Ooh, unity. This week has been horrible. <laughs> Absolutely the worst I've ever had starting a new project. First, I got thrown around between five different Unity versions until I finally found one that was stable and uh, supported uh, all the plugins I want to use. The next day, I found out that the 3D asset pack that I bought to kickstart the level design was well made, but very, very messy. Uh, all the anchor points were well offset, uh, and not where they're supposed to be. Uh, pink materials, shaders that were broken, custom shaders that weren't even in the whole asset pack. I, I don't know. Then. Day 3, I was finally able to import the GPS data of my hometown Zeist into Unity. Which was fairly straightforward uh, with the CityGen 3D plugin in my previous video. And I ran a few tests by importing the skyscrapers from the 3D asset pack. And build a few roads, which was also fa- Wait, uh, hold on. Sure, sure. Make it all pink. What? Why isn't this working? Oh, crap. Again? You lock up again? Right, time! Alright, so I think I got a little bit too excited by all the awesome reactions I've had on my previous videos and on the project overall, uh, I think it's time to do one step back and take a look at the project because it ain't working. I know better than this. This isn't the way to start a project just smashing and bashing some broken plugins and crap into a scene. I think I just wanted to show some epic stuff in my early videos, so yeah, we're not gonna do that. Yeah, I'm going to have to rethink how to build the environment of this project. I think with a few weeks of cleaning up the asset packs, rearranging the anchor points, fixing pink materials, the broken meshes, etc. I can start on building a prototype of a part of the city. Uh, I think I have to build it up horizontally. So first I'll build it on a big scope with skyscrapers and things like that, and then go into the finer details. First, uh, smaller buildings, ending up with real fine details of power lines, signs, things like that. Yeah. However, I really need to rethink those roads because this plugin Ain't working. No. And if I have to do it by hand, with pre-made tiles and things like that, or just 3D modeling all the roads myself, how does this even work? It, it'll take me five years and I don't have the time. So either I will have to find a working asset or I will have to whip up something on my own. And I think I'm going to do just that. I've made a small prototype with the Unity Splines tool. This way I can easily create a spline, just the shape I want it to be, and then draw a mesh over it. And then I have to stamp it to the terrain or somehow edit the terrain to seamlessly integrate on the road. There will be quite a few challenges uh, with this because um, how am I going to do intersections, uh, materials, textures, uh, will it even work? Um, so I think I'm going to take uh, a few days of, of prototype development next week and talk all about it. 
in the next tech video, of course. I will also add the uh, prototype to a Git project so you can all download it and use it any way you'd like. Uh, because, hey, the naked dev. So the next steps of the project are, one, write the game design document. Two, do some prototyping. Three, build the rest of the now. I'm sure that with a more organized way to kick off the project, I will be able to create some very cool art and tech prototypes or demos and share them with you. Uh, but that is for next week because I first need to create them. So, just as last time, hit that button. I know you want to, and I'll love you for it. See you next week.